problem here. In this time, I am going to show you how to use content merge in Workflow 55. So I hope you already know what is content merge. And this is one of the most discussed topic in workshop area where people discussed a lot about content merge. Okay. So what it does, as the name says, content merge. So it merges the content. Okay. So when you merge something, you need to, you need two things. Basically, when in Excel also there is something called merge cells. So when you say merge cell, there is mm, there are two cells involved. Okay. So here also in merge, you need two things. One is source and one is target or destination. Content means your uh, the things which you develop in 35, it can be process, it can be your uh, variable or layout or the execution result, report, attributes, requirement, anything. Okay. So suppose I work for a HR project. Okay. In 35, I have a HR project and there I have created a login utility for SAP. Now after then, after that, I was assigned to a different project. Okay. And that is a finance project basically and there also I need to create a login utility for SAP. Now I know that I already created this one in HR. So no matter it is HR system or finance system, basically the login process remains same in SAP. right? So I know that I have already created this in HR, so I want to use it. So how, how, how can I do that? So now you, you must know that in 35, copy paste is not allowed from one project to another project. So for that let me show you. Suppose I have a project called Gotham here. If you see, I am in a Gotham project. Here I have a folder called demo and I have a process called ODBC. I want to copy this ODBC process and I want to paste this in a demo project. So I have another project called demo here. So let me open that project demo. Now I open the demo project here. If you see uh, here, it is demo. And now this demo, demo project is basically a blank project, an empty project. So I want to copy and paste the process here, which I already copied from the Gotham project. So it is not allowing me, right? Means simply copy paste is not allowed from one project to another project in 35 from a certify client or a certify interface. This is a certify client interface. So from here it is not allowed. Okay. Now, how do I do that? I badly need to copy this content to a new project. So how can I do that? So for that, we need to use content merge. Okay, content merge. Now, how, what is content merge? It is a tool in Workshop or it is a plugin by Workshop. Okay. So how, how from where I can access that? So to in order to perform this operation content merge, you don't need the certify client. Okay, certify client is a different thing where you develop something or you um, automate some processes. For merging content, certify client is not going to help you. Remember that. So from where you can develop this, from where you can access this content merge tool. So for that, you need to go to a folder from where your certify installation directory. Okay. So from where you install the certify or the set of files, there will be a folder called content merge. And depending on the system, on which system you are going to perform the content merge, select the folder 62 or 34. So mine is 64. And then from this folder, you will find an application called workshop.content-merge. So this is basically the tool, content merge. So you just open this tool, okay, and this is how it looks, okay. So when you open it, it has three tabs. So one is source, target, and content. Source is basically your source project from where you want to merge the content. So in our case, our source will be Gotham project. Then we have something called target. Target is something where I need to merge the content, means control V, where I want to perform the control V, means where I want to paste the content, that is target. So in our case, target is demo. And content means what all content is ready for, or what all content is available in source and target. Okay, So to see, and then from where I can select. So first, let's select the source uh, database here. Now, again, one important thing to perform this content merge, there are two things. One, either you need to be an administrator, okay, or your certify ID needs to be in administrator group, or your ID will have your uh, admin privileges given, okay. Otherwise, you cannot do that. So, you require admin privileges. So, to, in order to do that, you need to give the database server, means in certify, where is your database located in which server, your server name, then your database 
uh, requires Windows authentication or database authentication. So mine is database authentication, then your database ID password and then say test and continue. Once you does that, do that, then your content merge establishes a connection with your given database. Okay. Now in this database, in this server, I have this two, three database. Okay. Two database. So my project falls on this database. I will select this database. Inside this database, I have several projects. One is demo Gotham sample project. As you can see here, let me show you in project. I have these three projects, sample, demo and Gotham. Okay. So you can see these three projects here. So my, uh, we are in source. So my source project is Gotham project. Okay. So I will select Gotham here. Then I will go to target. I need to do the same thing for target. Target database, target server can be anything. Okay. So it can be a different server provided we are in the same network either locally or via VPN or any or or some other other network tool okay then that target database requires windows or database authentication select that one so my in my case my source and target both database are same so i will do the same thing here and then my target database name that is again this one but it is not required it can be different it can be different database it can be on different server remember that so here my project will be demo okay so my project will be demo so my source project is this one Gotham. My target project is demo and then I will say continue. So once you are ready with your source and target database setup, then press the continue button. Okay. Now at this time, certify so content merge will ask you to log in as an administrator. Okay. So that is what I said. Either you need to be an administrator or in the administrator group, or you need or you require admin privileges. Okay. So log in. Now here, depending upon the weight of source and target database this tool or content merge will take some time to read the content so it is reading source and target both the databases it's, it may take 2 minutes to 48 hours depending upon how big or how small is your database so as you can see the reading is done and content merge is now ready with the content available in the given database projects so this is my source so if you can see these are the source and this is the target so if i expand the target process here so uh, we, I, I have shown you right so my target database basically demo is empty that there, there is nothing this project has nothing no content okay now if i show you this my source process here source database or source project you, you here we have so many things so you can see demo also right if i expand demo you have two processes here demo playing odbc and playing with excel see demo playing with excel okay now if i go to mobile i will have mobile demo process so if i go to mobile mobile demo okay so now you you should know means what process or what things you want to merge now if you see if I want to merge variables, so I have all the variables here if I expand. So I can suppose I want this variable to be copied from here to there. So I can select this one. Okay. If I want to select everything, I will select the top checkbox. It selects everything. Otherwise, I can select application. I can select attributes. Okay. Now attributes for layout, process, results, what attribute I want. So I can select all any of them or all of them. Okay. Then execution flow rule. If I have something, so I can create that. I can select that layout if i want to select i can select that okay so there are many requirement type and all there are many things so, so basically my point here you must know that what you want to copy from your source to target so so let us do that so i, I want to copy these two process here odbc and playing with excel so i select these two process okay then i will say ready okay and remember that these two process is there un un under the demo folder and this demo folder is not there in my target database okay this for a target project so let's see so this two process may uses some variables may uses some layout records here so let's see how it works then i will say ready once i say ready then this merge button will be enabled so i will say merge once i merge content merge will give some notification that this action will result in some content being replaced in the target project do you want to proceed now what does it mean now suppose this login utility which i have just discussed in the beginning is already there 
and I, I, I am not aware about it and I thought of doing this content merge. So in that case, if it is there or in the same location, then it will be overridden by the new process which is going to be merged. Okay. So that's why we need to be a little cautious and, and need to be very sure before performing content merge. Okay. That's why a normal certified user don't have access and, and he or she cannot do that. So only administrator can perform this kind of operations. Then say yes. Then depending upon what all things we have selected, it will take its time. Okay. So let's wait. So 55% done. And see when we merge any content, suppose we selected one process for doing the content merge and that process uses two, three layout, one at the uh, integration level or I, I have selected an integration process where there are four or five transactions are used, okay, and there is a layout record set at the integration level, there is a layout, layout record set at the transactional level, there are some mm, child layout record set inside some child process, there are many variables. So when you merge the integrated process, it basically moves all the associated processes, okay, for that process. So basically everything will get moved. So this is done, now let's see. Now let's go to this demo project, let's open, go to process. So before that it was empty, we have seen, now if you see the demo folder is there, it was not there earlier, why because these two processes are basically under this folder, so that's why this folder is there and then these two process is here, okay. So this is moved, now these two process also uses some variables, so let's see whether variables are moved or not, so if you see variables are moved, temp number, name, temp and all, okay. So this is basically how content merge works, okay. So hope you like this, thanks for watching.